within the next 50 minutes essentially um so the only other option yeah is like switching over to like switch stuff which is like not the end of the world but at the same time we also don't have more than yeah one set of joy cons oh right so we could only put arts or something pretty much i feel like most of the games in clubhouse only uh, use the joy cons like a single joy con each yeah i mean i don't i don't have to be <laughs> i don't yeah, have that's to what be I, that's either. what i said if i could run some golf i wouldn't mind having yeah. the company to chat but I mean, I can I can hang out. I guess I'm not gonna be golfing, unfortunately. It's really up to you. Just do a just chatting stream. Is there like I'll online? I, I was gonna uh... say like we could play like chess online, but I was like I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> Lily and yeah, Lily's in. Our balls are like the same color. I'm gonna send it and hope he's ready. We'll play a f I'll play like at least one round of golf. There's literally a fly on my screen. Like I'm not even kidding. It flew away. Playing some Oasis. But at the very least there's like a good test stream to, to see if we can like do anything with these old laptops and I think the answer is pretty much no. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're just they're they're too decrepit. Oh, too spicy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do it. We sending it. Wait, wait, how's your day been today? What have you been up to? Okay, well, I'm getting a bogey on the first hole. I'm Are you playing Forest? In my... Oasis. Oh, we both got bogeys. His day has been not bad. Do so you have your overlay up, or...? Oh, I do! Sorry, everyone in existence. You missed the first hole, I got a bogey. It was kind of embarrassing, so. Oh, so close. I almost got a hoy. A bird has just landed on your bedroom window. Oh, that happens? So this is like a real issue I have with my apartment, for those that don't know. Um, I have really old windowsills, so there's bugs that kind of get in the windowsill, like the old wood and on the edging. So the birds, like magpies and big birds, will actually land on the windowsill and like peck and pick at the like trim of my window. It's like a real thing and it's really annoying. Oh, that was a lot of sugar. I didn't uh, know. So it's definitely really annoying. I was also complaining about this to my partner earlier, and I'm sorry he has to hear this for like the fifth time today. My apartment's really annoying because it looks over like a nice big field area, it's fine, except the sprinklers for the field are really loud and they go off at six in the morning. And my resident manager mows, oh, mows the lawn at like seven in the morning. So I pretty much just cannot sleep with my window open. I got an eagle! What a good day. Stream isn't showing the game. Hmm. Oh, was that delayed? That was from when my overlay was still up? Lol. I'm bad at what I do. It's a close game. Oh, I'm so bad at this one. Just kidding, I'm a god. That was back in the overlay days. Hmm. Did you- you didn't stream today, Lily, right? It was just bandit streaming? Oh. Also, Chirpy, give us- give me golf tips. Yeah, can you, uh, can you be Lily's, like, caddy? Coach? Can you be my coach, apparently? I'm gonna stroke out. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I could bounce it. I stroked out. Uh-oh. 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 Did we both stroke out? Mm. What a bad day. No recovering from that. Oh! Ah! Too spice. He do be stuck, yep. Oh, not enough spice. No, wrong hole. I wanted the other hole. This one's the bad hole. Also, no jump. I blame Chirpy. He complained when I put jump on. Oh, I'm bad at this one. Which pillar do you aim for? I think you aim for that one. Just kidding, I'm great. It's definitely always a peer stream when it comes to golf with your friends. You are not wrong. Also, yeah. Chirpy just knows. He, he has a spreadsheet, I swear. Are you still in, like, voice chat, Chirpy? Or am I just vi- He almost cheated the system with that rebound. I'm vibing alone here. You can do it, I believe. <gasps> so good! Too much power. Almost so good. My laptop crashed. Oh! Golf with your friends is doing you dirty. This hole, some of these holes on Oasis are, like, rude. Just living in silence. There we go, you did it! Impressive. Ooh, baby. Close game. Close game. I like your pirate hat, by the way. DK all the way. Oh my god. What is that? What was that? It's fine. It's fine. He almost got a hoy. Some impressive golf skills. Man, I should have made this open to the public so that, like, anyone could join. Uh, that's never happened to me before. I feel like Chirpy Bo as a coach would be like super intense and not empathetic at all. And I don't know if I ha I like could handle that in my life. I am a sensitive being. And would probably cry a lot. Get it, get it, get it, get the boost! Oh. Oh my. Oh wow. 
It didn't count? What a sad day. Who needs Mario Golf Super Rush? Couldn't coach him. Oh, you couldn't coach. You can coach him, but you can't coach. Also, hello? I'm just gonna go the long way. Which ended up being the wrong decision. Do you think I could like? Stop, 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 stop. Okay, well, where, where do I go from here? This way. Okay, okay. Maybe not full power. In the hole! In the hole! In the hole! In the- Okay, so I guess, like, we can do question period in the meantime. What's, uh, what's something that you, like, have no control over, you will spend money on, or you like to spend money on, that people- other people maybe think are, like, is, like, a not useful thing to spend money on? Because mine is definitely, like, I have a few really nice pairs of sunglasses, and everyone's like, well, sunglasses always just get lost or stolen or broken. And I'm like, well, I like them. And then I also really like watches, funnily enough. I don't know if that's, like, a normal thing for a 25-year-old. Get in the water. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cheating the system. We're going to cheat the system. Tattoos. Okay. Get on the ledge! Fine, I'll go up here. I want it over there, but... Tattoos? Fair, fair. I have a very good friend of mine who has two full arm sleeves and uh, a full leg sleeve. I think just one. And then his whole chest done. But why it's like odd to me is like this guy is like a pharmacist and he's ginger and he doesn't look like someone that would have tattoos like he kind of is just like a nerdy dude and lily you didn't jump no what was the question what's something that like you spend a lot of money on or are comfortable spending a lot of money on that other people think is like silly or useless so I said my thing is like I love watches and sunglasses and chirpy said tattoos is his thing that he spends money on that people think is not necessarily the great the greatest use of your money I hate this map I also, maybe this is, like, weird, but, like, as I get older, I definitely enjoy jewelry. Like, Nintendo video games. Oh, God. I mean, when you get, when you get 300 hours out of Animal Crossing, I don't know if that's, like, useless, but that might just be a me thing. I don't know if normal people got that many hours out of that game. Fudge. I need to get all my ba watch batteries replaced. I honestly, for not for my expensive watches, singular watch, I only have one expensive watch, um, but for my cheap watches, like my fossil watches and stuff, I usually just get like dollar store battery, fudge, uh, dollar store batteries, and then you can just pop the back cover off and replace them. And the dollar store batteries are like $2 for like a six pack. Fudge! Booze. That is a... Yeah, you're not wrong. That is something I spend way too much money on that I probably shouldn't, but definitely do. 425 hours in Animal Crossing. Okay. I'm so glad someone is on my page and on my level because it got out of control. I need bounce. Okay, I'll put jump on. I'm sorry, Lily. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is impressive. I don't think I have... No, that's a lie. I probably have that many hours in Skyrim. Um, 
And I guess, like, if you count the hours from when I was a kid, I would have that in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon game, because I have, like, 250 hours on Steam. But, yeah, 425 hours is a lot. I should not say anything about it, though, because I literally... That is... Oh. Um, I literally have almost that many in Animal Crossing. Dude, Animal Crossing? Great game, though. I needed some wholesome vibes like that in my life. Maybe not full power, hey? Oh! Oh! My hands hurt. That- that- That was some spice that I was not ready for. <laughs> Woo! Oh, baby. Okay, I also- You know how when you're- not even when you're younger, because I still do this, and I'm an old man, but when uh, you, like, start saying something sarcastically or doing something sarcastically, and then you just can't stop doing it, finger guns, the peace sign, and saying YOLO. I cannot not do those things. I definitely... Yeah, you get, like, a... Eagle on that one is tough. Yo, that was like one of the most impressive eagles I've ever had. And I'm glad that I was streaming when it happened. I only started playing Overwatch this year and I've already sank 100, 150 hours into it. Yo, that's a pretty good game though. I, uh, I never got into Overwatch per se, but like, we all know that I am incapable of anything that requires combat or um, any kind of quick trigger. You know, it might need a little more spice than that. This hole should not be a par 4, in my opinion. And someone should have turned jump on. Clearly. Really. 400 hours in Final Fantasy 14. YOLO, you mean, um, the California's county name? Is that a thing? Is there a county in California actually called YOLO? What? Okay, maybe, maybe that's not what you want. What is your all-time favorite video game? Like, if you could choose one video game to keep you occupied for- Oh my god, I actually- Does Origin keep track of the number of hours you have in a game? I gotta know. I gotta know. We're taking a quick pause here, and we're gonna look, because I gotta know how many hours I have in The Sims 4. Oh god, okay. I need to go to Games Library. Does it tell me how many hours I have in a game? The Sims 4. Zero of zero friends are online on my Origin account? No, I don't- Okay, well, it's not as many as I thought. I have 230 hours in The Sims 4, just on Origin. That's not including what I put in The Sims 3, 2, and The Sims 1. Also, The Sims 2 Castaway for the Wii, and, um... Yeah. Oh, why did I do that? That's tough. To keep me occupied... Favorite is probably a Zelda game. Breath of the Wild, dude. I've never played it. I watched Chirpy play it twice, though. And I very much enjoyed watching him play it, so I know how much he liked that game. Can I just be good at a video game? Like, I just... I just want to know if that's even, like, a thing I can do. Oh. Witcher? Witcher 3. Oh, well, I guess this counts as a position for my ball to be. I guess I'll just, like, do that. Get up the hill! No! My favorite all-time game is Twilight Princess. Ooh. Now, this is going to be blasphemous, but I have never played a Zelda game. I have watched them. I've, I've well, I've only watched Breath of the Wild, but I've never actually played a Zelda game.
No, 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 not in the broken pot. Good. Breath of the Wild is top tier, yeah. Ocarina of Time is childhood nostalgia. Fair, fair. Oh, you know what game I got into? Um, pretty late bloomer on this one as well. Was uh, Fire Emblem. So I played, like, the first Fire Emblem I played was the one before Three Houses. I think it's called, like, Rise or something. Um, and I, I really liked it. What's your most played game of all time? Okay. On my Steam account, it's currently Stardew Valley. But I think that's accurate <laughs> because I have only, like, five hours less in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon on my Steam account, and I played that as a child, whereas I did not play Stardew Valley as a child, because I'm an old man. Uh, I think it's better to go this way. Uh, ah, ah, ah! But... Mm, mm, I, I, Skyrim's gotta be up there, because I have Skyrim both for the computer. Well, I did have it for the computer. I don't think I do, because I think it was on my sister's Steam account, because I didn't have my own for a long time. Um, and then I have it on the Xbox as well, and I think I have like 350 hours just on the Xbox. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I played a lot, this is like embarrassing, but I played a lot of Mario Party by myself when I was a child. Like, Mario Party 6, like, the tree map is my favorite map, and anyone who knows me as an adult knows that's true because anytime we play mario party on the like we use the wii and play the old gamecube games have to play mario party 6 and always have to play tree map because it's so good ocarina of time was insane when it came out 3d was brand new Ooh. Yo, we were pretty close on that. Both stroked out a couple times. I want to play, if you're still playing with me, I want to play um, Underwater. I like the water one. GG, are you playing another one, Lily? TBH, I am okay on the Mario Party games. I love them i do not like the new one i'll play another okay i'm gonna send it um i do not like the new one that much i don't think the maps are very good but to play the og mario party sit in the living room with everyone's like gamecube controllers plugged into the wii oh my gosh i love it have a couple beers like it's like my requirement is like my partner doesn't like board games or games like um mario party but his sister, my sister-in-law, does. Which, for me, is really good. Because that means that, like, family... Oh, baby! Um, at family gatherings, we get to play board games. So, or Mario Party. What, uh... What is your favorite board game? Or what are a few of your favorite board slash card games? I love Catan. I didn't know I loved Catan until recently. Oh, baby! I'm killing it today. Oh, Lily's killing it too! Mario Kart definitely preferred over Mario Party. Okay, well you can get out of here with that negative energy. Okay, I don't know if that's what I wanted to do, but here we are. My hoy streak has been ruined. Get in the back hole. I don't know what this finger gun dance is. Can you imagine if I went to the club and this is what I was doing? Mario Party Superstars is hype. Trying to think, what is that? Is that... Is that the new one? I 
I thought the new one was like Mario Party 8 or something. I, uh, so this is like sad and you can feel bad for me as a, ch no, I didn't turn jump on as well, by the way. Sorry, Lily. Um, feel sad for me. I didn't play Mario Kart until I was an adult on the Wii U. We didn't have Mario Kart. We had like Crash Bandicoot Racing. So. No, what is this? The one that will come out. Oh yeah, and it's the remake of the, the only thing I had to say is I actually had that idea a while ago. Fudge. A while ago, because when they came out with Mario Kart and it was a, like accumulation of all these things. I was like, man, if they did the exact same thing. Crash CTR! See? Someone knows. I, I cannot do this. Um, but... Yeah, um... Uh, maybe I should just go over the thing, can I? Yeah. Am I not just doing this? Yeah, that was... Took me longer than that should have. Um, I was like, it's cool that they're doing it. But I just, I want them to do it for the GameCube games, four through like seven or whatever's on the GameCube. I want that because you know tree map, which is best map, tree map will be on it. Oh, so close. A tree map will be on it and I love tree map. Mario Party 6 also has the best teams. Oh, frick. The best teams set up in my opinion. Where it's like you roll completely, you roll completely separately. Um, you roll completely separately. You move around the map completely separately. I also like the way you lay traps. I really just, and I mean, I guess like Mario Party 6 has this too. I hate in the Mario Parties, the like, the butter, you can use like butter free or whatever, not butter free. Butterfree, um, Caterpie or whatever to like get to the star or the golden tube. I hate that. I hate that mechanic so much. But maybe that's because I'm a child. Oh, I thought I could have ang- Fudge! I'm in the exact same spot. The remake of Crash. Okay. I did not play it. Um, I watched a streamer play it on a sponsored stream. And he only played like one hour of it. And I really like, I don't know, that game has so much heart for me. All I remember um, is that the ice levels were the worst. Wiggler. What about Caterpie? Butterfree and Caterpie. Both Pokemon. Oh, I didn't get enough spice off it, hey? Get in the back! Oh. Look at that sad coral. It looks like something out of Minecraft. Wiggler. I'm gonna start using the Wiggler motorcycle. Just wait. Just wait. In Mario Kart, not in Mario Party. How is Lily doing so much better than me? Lily, you're killing it today. I got an achievement! This is my first birdie, I think. He's crushing me. You are not wrong. He's like, get, he's getting his practice in. For pre-team streams. Oh, Lily. Um, I was gonna send this in chat today. I think on team stream this week, we should play... Obviously, my favorite games, or up there for it. I really want to play um, Murder Trivia Party and Gaspionage. I love Gaspionage. I think I'm like the only person, but I love Gaspionage. I think it's so fun. I'm catching up.
I tried. There's gotta be a way to like cheat this one with the ramps. Roll, roll! Oh. Down, he's down. Don't wanna stress it. Oh my god, okay, I had a lot of fun with bomb game. But I definitely, I know when I get stressed out, it's probably not fun for people to watch because I'm very, like, I feel like I'm very controlling and very demanding. It's like a side of me I don't like. And I think that comes from, like, a lot of the project management stuff I do. Where it's like, if you don't lay down the law, people just don't listen to you. And I don't like it. But at the same time, like, I still have a lot of fun with bomb game and stuff, but I need a break from that. I do, I do enjoy that, uh, we all kind of, like, figured it out together, though. Because, like, none of us had really ever played it. I had the most experience just because I watch a streamer who plays it pretty regularly. But I will tell you, if you've played, um, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, the freaking map for the complicated wires makes me want to die. It's, like, a, the worst Venn diagram you've ever looked at. It's... So hard for my brain to process. Oh, baby! We're coming! <laughs> what? I don't know physics, okay? This is good. I like this, though. This one should have a vac, I think. I played it with my dad and sisters, and it's, yeah, it's stressful. We need to spend a team stream, um, training. Is that not what the last one was? Was that not a training session? We did really well. I was actually very impressed with all of us and our abilities to, like, kind of, you know, divvy like divvy up tasks i guess i was gonna say differentiate and i was like that's not the right word but divvy up tasks and kind of like work together it was really good golf clap okay five and five wow it's a close game Oh, the fish. Fish merry-go-round. Okay, well, could have timed that one a little better. Very calm can confirm. We were very calm for the most part. Were we? I feel like I was not. I feel like I was absolutely, like, 10 out of 10 super... I was gonna say super B-word, but then I was like, oh, but super tramp, and I was like, that doesn't even fit here, so here we are. But... Yeah, I think you two were very calm, and I was mildly calm. Look at this cutie in his little hat. And then the hand that's holding the lamp. Oh. I know, like, this is going to be a very targeted... I'm so sorry that you guys are not going to understand this. But this map kind of reminds me, if you are from Alberta and you've been to Drumheller and been to the Royal Trail Museum, that's where it gets very specific. Um... There is, like, a room. It's my favorite room. It's a glass floor and glassed-in hallway room with, like, um, prehistoric fish, aquatic organisms, like, swimming around, and they're, like, obviously on sticks because they're fake. And this map reminds me of that a lot, and I really just, like, I really enjoy that room. There's just something about it that, like, I don't know if it reminds me of my childhood, but like, even so, like, something just feels good about. I think I cheated the map. Like, I don't know, that room just like, I love it. Ah.
Oh yeah, there were nerves and I was stressed, but I think we all handled it super calmly. I screamed at a few points, but you know what? I scream all the time. <laughs> Maybe that's part of my like streamer aesthetic is I'm a screamer, not a stream. Mm, I don't want to call myself a screamer. Can I rescind that statement now? Where's the, oh right, you gotta go all the way into the cannon. Maybe I shouldn't have given it full spice, hey? I lucked out with the shot, but... Great. Great. I love this. Oh my god. Okay, that's how. Get in the vac. Get in the giant vac. <gasps> I didn't stroke out. Falling apart. He ain't wrong. Falling apart and hacking at the same time. Lily and I are very matched right now. Okay, hello fish. No, 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 no! Oh! I just give up. What am I doing? Oh, there's a hole there! Don't stroke out. Just don't stroke out. That's all I can ask. Is that I just don't stroke out. Cheat the system from here. Playing too fast and loose, fast and loose. Can I cheat the system? If I like. Oh, you totally can. I really have to use the washroom. So I'm like playing fast and loose. I don't know. It makes me feel like I don't have to pee. My mouse just died? Okay. Do you think if I get in the hole, I can like run to the washroom? Oh, well, not doing that. Oh, I like have to pee like so bad. That like I have to go now. How many holes left? I'm running. Be right back.
They were in pain. Okay, where am I going? Oh. <sighs> Yo, check it out, perched. Check out where I'm perched. Where are you perched? Is he on top of the wall somehow? Oh. This lucky son of a gun is perfectly lined up with the hole. At I'm playing too fast? No. I just really had to pee. She's in the hole. Oh! Whiff. No, golf cap. No, me. Add, I'm playing too fast. Oh. Oh. Falling apart, playing too fast. I feel better now that I don't have to pee. Okay, I don't feel better about that shot, but like... No! Goodbye, cruel world. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Not again. Okay. Maybe don't aim for the propeller in the center. Okay, full spice, not what you want, but like. Okay, I should have lined it up. Double boogie. This guy's having a rough day. Not Lily, like the skeleton. Oh. Oh, that was it. Lily, do you want to play one more or are you done? What's another question? Oh, here's a good question. Do you have a phone case on your phone? Like, are you, are you just naked? Sure, I can play one more. Okay, let's do like, Super basic. Um, I need to do this as well. Um, 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 not that. How do we, oh, yeah, here, okay. Jump, 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 jump. Collision flag. Allow jumping, apply. Always have a phone case on my phone. Join in voice, oh God, okay, okay, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Uh. Ah! Not home sweet home. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Minecraft. I don't know how to scroll. There we go. Oh, hello, beautiful human. Yo, yo. There we go. How's it's your working. day been? What have you been up to? Not too much. I gotta turn your volume down on your stream now because I'm hearing myself twice. Oh, isn't that your favorite? I know. It's so great to hear my voice on repeat and repeat and repeat. No, it's been a good day. Yeah? Went to a puppy birthday party this oh. afternoon. Oh! How old is the puppy? One? One year old. Yeah, because oh. that's the only time you ever invite people yeah. out to a puppy birthday. One, and maybe if your dog turned like 20, I would accept it. Yeah, there's a um, in like Riverbend in Calgary. There's a come on, come on. bar called the Station. Oh hell yeah, uh, and they have a puppy patio. So there's a bunch of pups I eating. Feel... Oh sorry. Eating patties and uh, drinking uh, like bone broth, like frozen bone broth that they could chew on while they. Oh, that's cute. And then we all ate breakfast. You didn't eat bone broth. No, I can make my own. Wouldn't buy that from a store. <laughs> I or feel from like a restaurant. A, I'm super on board with the fact that patios are becoming so pet friendly. I'm kind of okay with it. I'm also I, like kind of not. <laughs> yeah, I I have mixed feelings, I will say. So Shane and I went to England in 2018. And this is before like dog patios in <sighs> North America and specifically Canada were really a thing. Um, 
Dang. And uh, we went nice. to this restaurant, and there were people that had their dogs laying underneath the tables inside the bar restaurant. And, like, it kind of caught me off guard, because I was like, whoa, like, that is not a thing in Canada? Yeah. This was in England? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I was just like, whoa! But then I was like, the only thing, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, like, as someone that's allergic to dogs, like, it's kind of like, oh, I don't know if I feel how I feel about that. But at the same time, like, if the dog's not bothering anyone, I will say, as an employee of someone that worked at a restaurant that had a dog-friendly patio, um, one of the girls did get bit by someone's dog, and I yeah. actually had a dog lunge at me. And I have never been afraid of dogs, but... Like it's, you, when a dog it, goes after you, you can get. That's how people it, it get. It was really of frustrating dogs. because what it was is the dog was like for my situation, the dog was like fussing around a lot and it was like really sniffing me aggressively. So I asked the owner, I was like, "Look, this dog is pushing me around. It's making me uncomfortable. Do you think if I bent down and pet the dog, it would be better?" She said yes. So I I put my stuff down and I squatted down to pet the dog to be like, "Here, like smell me, get to know me." And the dog, like, I was at its level, like, squatting, and it lunged at my face, like, literally. Yeah. And, like, I'm not, like, I don't care about, like, people that are, like, oh, yeah, like, you can't have pit bulls and stuff. I'm I mean, not, I've never like been like that, but this is a pit bull, and I kind of was, like, I just don't like that. that See, you... when it comes down, what it comes down to, to for me is, like, I, like, I know lots of really good dog owners that, like, really mm -hmm. take care of their dogs that you know, have them trained well. Uh, but I just know so many instances of people who don't train their dogs well. Uh, I've had a dog lunge at me, yeah. and then, like, uh, the owner came out and started, and, like, hurt the dog. Like, it was really kind of horrible. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no wonder this dog is aggressive. It's <laughs> owner is horrible, and it's not treating it correctly. Um, so like I, I as much as i like had fun at the dog patio with all these dogs i was also like i don't necessarily trust all owners that's when they bring their dog to a dog park let alone a dog friendly bar I was and it just gonna, gets loud was... and barky and i'm just like i like i don't know that's kind of takes me out of the moment if i especially yeah. as someone who's not a dog owner i actually was gonna bring up a similar situation of i i think a lot of people get really excited, like a lot of people who are dog owners get really excited about, oh, I can bring my dog to the bar. I don't have to leave them at home. And they forget that some dogs get really anxious in crowds or when there's a lot of stuff going on. Or maybe your dog is just a super friendly dog and it like sees another dog and there's lots of dogs on the patio and it's getting overwhelmed. And they're considering their enjoyment over the fact that the dog may, it may not be a positive situation for the dog. Yeah, your dog doesn't want to sit under a table while you get when it's ice like food super and it gets hot. <laughs> yeah, when it's super hot. You know, it's hot like and it's like, why aren't we walking? Why aren't we home? Like, why are, like what are we yeah. doing here? <laughs> and in addition to that, some dogs just get overwhelmed from that situation. So yeah. I think that is not great, and I think a lot of people don't have their dogs properly trained because, yeah. like, at least in Canada, it's not mandatory to take your dogs to puppy training. In some places, it is, but yeah. I feel like, as someone who doesn't really have an interest in owning a dog anytime soon, I can do without places that are, like, I'm not going to go to a place because it has a puppy patio, you know? Mm -hmm. I actually, um, so I very much want a dog, but I've always taken the take of, like, I like rat dogs and little dogs because I need to be in control of that situation and i am a well rat dog little dog person so like i cannot control a like a pit bull or a um husky or a german shepherd they're just too big for me like i need something that i can control which ends up being like a five pound dog so that's a big one for me i would love to it's have funny a funny because like, like, I don't know, maybe this is just as a guy, but I've yeah. been attacked by more little dogs and I've been attacked by big dogs. I think the issue is that little dogs, people treat them like cats. And they're like, oh, this dog doesn't need to go for walks. Like, it's so small. And so little dogs tend to suffer from anxiety and stuff a lot. And so they tend to be barkier and um, really anxious and high energy. And it's often, not always, but often, oh, frick. 
because they're not getting the appropriate exercise and stuff. Mm. Which bothers me, because I am someone that had, like, so, if you didn't know, like, I have a dog. I bought a dog when I was in, like, grade 11. And, um... When I was in university, my mom got quite sick, so I kind of, like, gifted this dog to my mom. Because, like, she likes to take care of it, and they didn't want to give it back to me, to be honest. Oh, fair. And um, I noticed that when I wasn't, because I used to walk her for like 5k, I'd take her for like a 5k run almost every day. And then she'd go for walks with the other people in the house like pretty regularly. She almost never barked. She was a really healthy weight, now she's overweight. Um, and like, she had a little bit of anxiety. Oh, rip. I rimmed it. But she was like overall pretty good and over the last few years it's gotten worse and worse with like her anxiety's gotten worse because they're not exercising her properly and they're not feeding her properly and like i have no control over that because it's you know no longer my dog but it just it it's crappy like it is what it is and so that's the yeah. thing is like they're not they're not purse dogs they're still dogs they still need to go for runs and walks and you need to exercise them properly and get make sure they're getting all their nutrients and I don't know. It's just like, that's just how I see it. But I think, yeah, little dogs, like overall, they can be a little aggressive, but I think it's often because owners are like, oh, like I don't need to send them to puppy training. I don't need to take them for walks. Yeah. Cause it's a, it's, it's for my lap. Yeah. And like, yeah, it, it's, I, I, it's, it's also it's, funny because it's uh, cause I like, I know a lot of I, I, yeah, actually, like, uh, any of the small dogs who have tacked me also, um, because there's so many bad owners out there, um, uh, and a lot of them are typically men, um, that, uh, dogs can be, like, pretty aggressive to, to other, to guys. Yeah. Um, because they'll have been traumatized by, um, a previous owner experience or something like that. And That's... it's been multiple dogs. Uh, but like small dogs, especially, uh, I've noticed that even so, more so. My, uh, my dog is a purebred miniature pincher, but she's also the runt of the litter. And so she, her siblings are like 10 pounds and she's about six to seven. Like she's tiny. And, um, she does not like men. And I think it is because we didn't really know the people that we purchased this dog from. And it seems like, because it's been something she has had an issue with since before I got her. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so close to the hoy, dude. But the oh. movie log fricked me. But Yeah, she... and that's like the tough thing with like taking in like an adoption dog too. Is like, uh, or like even from another owner who's like getting rid of it. It's like, oh, they've already learned some things Yeah, based on like they're... some semi-traumatic yeah. experiences even. So I actually, we talk about this quite a bit in the lab it's something that i've brought up recently so i work with rats obviously i need to rat talk Boom, hole in one. Oh my god on your worst he hole. is a god yes but he but um so i handle i work in one of the very few labs that actually handle our rats every single day and so i go in after they are seven days old and i weigh them every day and make sure that they're handled and played with make sure they're healthy and whatever Make sure, like, because sometimes, like, rats like to do the thing that cats do when they get injured. They'll, like, try and hide it. Right. Um, so... Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh, I'm in a fine yeah. spot. No. So, oh, I'm in a bad spot. I ruined this for myself. Oh, oh we're in a fine spot. Never mind. I'm <laughs> but, in a good spot. Uh, my rats are some of the nicest rats like it's insane because you pick them like when they're adults they have been handled every single day by humans so you pick them up and they just go limp like they're just so relaxed which is really unusual even for a domesticated animal and i think i was talking to like my lab mates about this part of the reason is probably because they're handled from such a young age that they're just so comfortable with it and it's kind of my idea has perpetuated into if i have a domestic pet um, the same thing like you have to handle them as much as you can especially in those early years so that they're like really nice I mean mm -hmm. I'm past seven o'clock but if you wanted to keep going I'm fine to keep going if not like I have stuff to do I'm pretty sure Chirpy's just resting in my bedroom probably reading oh well he's in town you guys should hang out 
Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for playing, Lily. Kind of a wild no stream worries. today, but yeah. I see you. But I time. try to figure out these Saturdays. They seem like fun times. I like yeah. that you can kind of be kind of wild about whatever they want to be. Wild yeah. Saturdays, you know? Yeah, it's going to be weird with like anytime Shane's in town trying to figure out a way if we can play together or not. But otherwise, yeah, I will see you on Tuesday. Uh, oh, one game that I thought you guys could play that is on the Switch is... Oh, yeah. um, it's a two-player co-op game, kind of puzzle game like Ibn Um okay. I'll send you a link to it. Do you know what it's named? I can't remember. It's like oh. Beyond Separation or something like that. It's yeah. like it's like Fire and Ice is the kind of the theme with okay. it. And two worlds. It's very, very Ibn Ob esque I'll send okay. a link. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out. Um, I will see no you on Tuesday. Um, this is Tuesday. Twitch.tv. <laughs> twitch.tv slash lily codes um what are you streaming next tuesday probably unless i random wild card night my late night stream sometime this week okay do it um so give him a follow so you get the notification when he goes live yeah get out of discord so you don't have to hear me sign off see you Peace later out. lily <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I know Tuesday, or Saturdays are a little bit wild because they're still pretty new. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your evening, and I will see you on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for some variety games, followed by golf, followed by Team Stream. As you heard earlier, we will be playing Jackbox 3 on Team Stream. Have a fantastic rest of your night, guys, and I want to give a special thanks to Funds the Fox and Haas00312 underscore for the follows today. See you later, everybody.